Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day three on my four-day cruise out of Port Canaveral on the wonderful Carnival Glory. Today's port is Nassau. If you cruise, you know this is pretty a pretty common port, home of Blackbeard the Pirate, supposedly. And it's just kind of a fun day. Just go like kind of walk around the city if you want to go to the straw market. Uh, they got some good bars in town, or right off the port, I should say. Or just go hang out in the port, get your hair braided. I don't really have anything planned today. I've already done the Queen Staircase. Um, last time I was here, a couple weeks ago, I went to Pirate Republic. I've been in the straw market, so I'm probably just gonna go walk around and just enjoy the atmosphere in the city, or in the port, I should say. It's not really a city. Um, and then just come back on the ship and hang out. So of course the casino is closed because we are in port today. And coffee shop just opened. There's only two people in line, so if you want coffee, it opens at seven. So of course I had to save the pirate duck. <laughs> Poor Nats, huh? I think that one's hidden pretty good. We'll see if he's here after I get back from breakfast. So two ships beat us into port already. MSC Seashore. And a Royal Caribbean one. I don't know which one that is. MSC has some beautiful ships, but they are definitely not a party ship like Carnival. Breakfast today is ham benedict, grilled ham, and hash brown, and then cucumbers and tomatoes with a cup of coffee. So today is one of the coolest days on Carnival. Every cruise they always do like a towel animal takeover, and it is today. Well, let me take you down there and show you the cool animals. So that's a new one I haven't seen. I think last one I was on, they did a bunch of minions. That's cute, an octopus with a baby octopi. So that was a fun surprise. And we already got the rum bar open this morning. Anyway, as I was saying, the rum bar is open. I think it opens at seven, so if you get the drink package, you can start drinking that early. Or if you don't, you can start drinking that early. Oh, they even got town animals back here in the Adults pool area. My duck was found. I placed it right there in the corner. Somebody saw it. So today we got to be back on board at 3.30. Hoping for some pier runners today. And you can go down to deck three so you're right there by the pier. All right, so here in Nassau, this port looks to be busy today. We have the Disney Magic. We have MSC, I believe it was Seaside. We have another Royal Caribbean ship over there. I don't know which one it is. We have our ship. And then we have, I believe this was another Royal Caribbean. Yep, another Royal Caribbean ship over here. Grand, grandeur of the seas. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five ships in port today. Nassau's gonna be busy. All right, so I think today's the day I'm gonna ride the slides. There's only one kid going up and down the slides. So, so, <laughs> so hopefully because it's Nassau, like they're not gonna be busy, but I'm gonna head into Nassau real quick and then I'll be back. I just did a uh, quick tour of the ship. Well, I can't say it's quick. It probably took me about a half hour to walk the ship, go deck by deck. So I'll put that link down below. Probably a couple days after I post this video, 
Um, if you're interested in what the Carnival Glory has to offer, or if you're coming on the Carnival Glory, check it out. So, <laughs> normally, I just walk by the photographers, and so they're waiting. This is the first time I've seen it where they're waiting like on the gangway to take your picture as you're walking by. And so I just kind of like shook my head and said no. <laughs> and the guy goes, give me something to do. So, how do you say no to that? So gave him a thumbs up, got my picture taken, and now I'm on my way. This is what uh, six ships worth of people trying to get off their boat and then try to get back in. Looks like it's crowded today. Which is good though, I've been here when it wasn't crowded and a lot of the stores were closed. So if there's only one boat in port, a lot of the sh shops are closed. They take that as their day off. Taxi nice. Big man for the family. What do you want to do today? Taxi to the beach. Good morning. Hi. That's your dude, man. So this is the busiest I've actually ever seen it. It is crowded today. So I just talked to one of the store clerks, and she said. There's more ships here than originally planned. Because of the bad weather right now, because of the hurricane, a lot of the ships got diverted, and so that's why it's so busy here today. So it's finally open. All right, thank you. This is shenanigans. So my last two cruises, uh, shenanigans has been closed. They closed the first two weeks in September, but the employees go on vacation. So this is my first time being able to come. And probably, I would say six months since I've been here. So pretty cool. I didn't realize they had their own beer. I feel like that's new. The shenanigans ale. But of course you can get Guinness here too, since it's, it's an Irish bar. If you've never been in the straw market, it's basically like a giant flea market uh, here in Nassau, right across from the port. So, super convenient to get to. But they will harass you and ask you to come look at their shops and all that. But if you're gonna buy something, bargain with them. Everything's a bargain here. I'm just looking. That's how you show. Why are you looking? <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff here. I just don't really have space in my apartment for it. But it's fun to look at. Oh look, it's pumpkin stitch. I am not made for this place. I have a hard time telling people no. <laughs> It's like they sense it and they pounce on my weakness. I survived the straw market. It was tough. I hate telling people no. I'm a people pleaser. But I always just say I'll be back. And of course they know I won't, but we both leave satisfied, I guess. Best beer in the Bahamas right here. So two weeks ago, I left the duck here at the Pirates Republic, and there it is, right there. They have it on the shelf. I'm excited about that. That's one of the reasons I wanted to come here and check it out. This and the Ir and uh, Shenanigans, the Irish bar, are my two go-tos when I come into Nassau. The Bearded Clam is my third because it's owned by another SF guy. All right, so right now I'm just gonna go through the port, 
Uh, gonna walk through like the little secure area, go back on the ship. I did everything I wanted to here in Nassau, so I'm just going back on the ship so I can eat lunch. I'm hungry. It turned out to be a beautiful day here. So one of the guys I talked to, his name was Tyler, and his cruise ship, he was on, or he's on the Royal Caribbean Grandeur of the Seas out of Tampa. They were supposed to go to Cozumel, but because of the hurricane that's coming, they rerouted them here, and then they're going to Freeport tomorrow, so. That explains it. Uh, the hurricane pushed all the ships this way, which is why it's busy today, like I said earlier in the video why it's so crowded. Here is the official port shop. And of course, it's busy as hell. So I've seen this stuff out actually in the city. 15 bucks here. I think out in the, if you just go on the other side of the fence, it's like $10 for one of these. So. The, the same stuff you can find here, you can find outside. Just a few feet away on the other side of the fence. And they will bargain with you. Even if it's a dollar, you're saving a dollar. I think bargaining's half the fun. Oh man, buy one, get one free. That is hard to resist, especially when it's by myself. So I've said it in my previous videos, if you don't want to go out outside the port to drink, there's plenty of places to drink here. And they have deals too. And you can sit at the bar, like, if you're worried about being out and unsafe if you're by yourself, just get off the ship and just come here to the port. You'll feel safe. They got security and stuff. So a lot of the beers here, they're Kalik and Sands, but if you've never had a Bohemian beer, you don't have to go outside the port. You can just get off the ship. Don't even leave the fenced area. And they have drinks here. All right, so I just got the watermelon, limeade, and a pineapple. She convinced me. She said, uh, oh. Try it out, big guy. Let me know if it's strong enough. Oh, I'm sure it's strong enough. I got to make it on the ship. Yeah, it's strong enough. Thank you. So here is the $25 pineapple drink with a triple shot. She said if it wasn't strong enough, she would make it more or she'd put more alcohol in it. Let's go ahead and sample it. It's good. It's a watermelon limeade. It's pretty good. Not as good as like a Sonic limeade, but definitely drinkable. And it's pretty strong. So, is it worth 25 bucks? Probably not, but I'm in Nassau and I'm on vacation. So, here's a little pro tip. It says, it, if it says you need your sign and sale card or your, uh, your cruise identification card to get through security, have it ready. I just waited for five minutes while some guy uh, didn't realize he needed it. Even though there's signs coming up saying that you need it, they don't let you into, the, into this secure area unless you have your sign and sale card to prove that you are on one of these cruise ships. Do I have a new animal? What? I do. I think that's a bear. And I'm excited because I'm weird. I like to keep my animals. So like he let me keep my other animal. 
having an ocean view room, perfect ledge for the animals. So a lot of people are still out in Nassau, which is why the ship scene is kind of empty. I enjoy it. If you watch my previous videos, like I love getting up early. I love walking around the ship when it's empty. These ships are amazing. So my sidekick said, always reward people who take the stairs. And so I hide my ducks on the stairs a lot of times. Today is a deli day. So here's lunch. I got a Reuben with fries, loaded mac and cheese, sweet potato salad, Nashville chicken, and I don't remember what that's called. Some kind of bread. And cucumbers. I love cucumbers. So here is the Lido deck at about 2 o'clock. Playing the movie on the big screen. And the pool is active. I am going to go down to the atrium bar because I want to be there in about an hour when it's time. Everybody's supposed to be on the ship. I want to be there so I can catch pier runners like right there on deck three. So the water and wind is definitely more choppy than I've seen in the past. I know there's a hurricane coming, hitting Tampa probably tomorrow. Hopefully it's not a rough night. Tomorrow's a sea day. I come to you all the way from a very little place called England. And I like to say a little thing that goes like this. Woo woo! woo, -woo. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna get better as that as time goes on. Okay. okay, this is question number 12. Here it is. A series of naps. A series of naps. This is question number one. Calm down. Okay. I only so got 10. Just did trivia. I did not win. It was uh, describe a movie badly. It was fun. Some of those I think are a stretch, but it's okay. For example, somebody spent seven years being a third wheel. What would you think it was? Well, the answer was Harry Potter. He's the damn main damn character. Who would think he was a third wheel? Obviously, I get it, Hermione and uh, Ron, but still. But it was fun. Um, so now it's, is, it's 3.10 and we have to be back on the ship at 3.30, so I am going to go position myself and wait for pier runners. Fingers crossed. My fingers are crossed. Fingers crossed, we have some. I will say the last few ships, they haven't had like the lower level, uh, the lower like outside I guess track or the lower deck where you can go outside. Um, Allure of the Seas had deck five, which you could go and see, but Carnival Gloria has an outside area on deck three. So as you can tell, like I am right here. I can mock them almost like I'm talking to them if they're pier runners. So I do like this uh, when I was on Celebrity Reflection. I think the closest I could get was like deck 13, if I'm not mistaken, but different clientele. I don't think Celebrity Reflection people are out there in Nassau getting hammered until the last minute. Whereas Carnival people, they like to party, so they will be showing up at the last minute. Five minutes. <laughs> They're singing shots. They're hammered. See, I love Carnival because you just don't get this on other cruise lines. The Carnival atmosphere. You know, if you never cruise Carnival, 
everybody should do it at least once. You can just see like the party atmosphere. I don't know what that dude is with the doing with his shirt pulled up. He must be hot. So there's a couple runners. At least they respect the timeline. Still coming. It's now 335. Never mind the restricted access sign. Just go ahead and let your kids cross the yellow line and get their pictures taken. I'm sure nothing bad could happen. Alright, it's 10 minutes after boarding. So it's 350. There's obviously people not back on board because they still have the gangway out. My question is, what's Carnival going to do? So Sushi at Sea is open. And I'm going to get the Poke Bowl. Let's see how good it is. So lately, I've been into Poke Bowls. Um, like, I love Poke Bowls. Every time I go to Disney Springs, I get a Poke Bowl. And so I saw that Carnival Glory had Poke Bowls at the sushi at sea and so i decided to get one and they're ten dollars they can you can get tuna or uh salmon and so this is what it is it's decent size for what it is uh they have limited hours i think today they're open from three to five or three to ten something like that but i went and i rode the water slides and so on the way back i thought i'd stop by there just to see if it was open and it was so one thing i like about cruises I enjoy eating. So <laughs> the last cruise I went on, I gained like five pounds in four days because I never miss a meal when I'm on a cruise. Um, so I figured I would try it and it looks good. Hopefully it is good, but this will be my dinner for now until later tonight where I'll get like a sandwich or pizza. All right, so here I am doing deal or no deal. Just got my tickets. I got the, the $50 package, so hopefully I win. Uh, not a whole lot going on tonight. I thought tonight was a love and marriage show, but it's not. So um, the big thing tonight's the 80s dance party. So we got deal or no deal. They got they do actually do two deal or no deals. There's a comedian, but I didn't think they were that funny. So I'm not gonna go to them again tonight. And then the piano bar is closed, so it might be an early night for me. Who knows? But right now, got my deal or no deal cards, and I'm ready to win some money. Okay, so just follow me through the game, all right? Because at the end of the day, we're going to be opening the cases up on the screen and you will open them on your cards. Now remember, if you have a match, you're on your way to start winning prize. Now all right. these contestants big money, will big be money, big for money. an extra prize tonight. And we need to get rid of the low prices. Fortunately, <laughs> we already opened case number one, which has 50 cents. That is amazing. Case number eight. Audience? Open case number eight on your cards. If you have 75 dollars. Say it. Deal. Deal. That means, guys, 40 winners on the bingo packet, five winners on the casino complete, one winner, 50 dollars. Banker, show the name very quickly. Who is winning 50 dollars so far? Me. Let's see. Michael, tell me, where are you? Yes, congratulations, right now, your price is $50, but remember, the more much as you have, the bigger your price is, guys. That's good, here we go, 10, All right, now I'm just gonna kinda wander the ship, see what's going on tonight. music. They're pretty good. The same band plays here every time, which is what I like. Uh, I think it makes it nice. So if you have a favorite band, you know where they're going to be playing at every night. 
So here's these cool models. I thought about starting to collect these on every ship I've been on. Has the fun facts on the bottom. But that means I'd have to go back on some cruises I've gone in the past, which isn't a bad thing. But I like to explore new cruises, new ships. The rum cakes are actually cheaper. I think out in town they're like 10 or 15 dollars. For the rum cakes here, they're two for 12 for the small ones. Of course, out in town you get more flavors. I do like Carnival because they do tributes to the military. Um, I did miss the military appreciation event today. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I was going down the water slides. But I'm not a big vodka or melon guy, but because it's called the Green Beret, I think I'm gonna have to try it. But I'd be remiss if I didn't get a drink in the Heroes, in the Heroes bar. So the sports bars on all the Carnival ships are now called the Heroes Tribute Bars. I don't know when they changed it, but they donate one dollar when you get a pint. I'm assuming the pint glass. But all the drinks are after military military terms. And it caught my eye, the Green Beret. That is what I did in the military. I retired after 21 years. I like Cardinal and how they support the troops, tribute, do tributes to the troops and all that good stuff. This is a cool little bar. It's about three minutes for the 80s party. Looks like the pool's still open. You can see the waves actually, how much the ship is rocking. So we got about 15 minutes. You can start seeing the costumes. People really go out on these 80s things, like her right there. I saw somebody in spandex, or the tights, like a workout gear. Definitely the highlight of a carnival cruise. So they just handed out the glow sticks, obviously, and somebody over there like went down. So there's somebody dying over there, and everybody else is partying right here. DJ Mace in the house. 
We have the pro squad and the youth stuff as well. All right, so you know what? Paul just told me that we need everybody involved in the party. So everybody, first of all, start getting close. Get close. And now, let's prove to the pro squad, the youth stuff, and DJ Mays that we are ready to party. I can bet on that they are not ready to eat. Let's see. Let's see. And you know what, DJ? Okay. We are going to start the music. Okay. We are. We are going to start the music. Oh, let's so, see. Let's see. Everybody on this side, eyes on me. Eyes on me. When so I, I don't know if you can see it. Side, but that's a Disney cruise over there, and they got fireworks. Okay, just like that. Easy, easy. But it, it has to be everybody together as one person. Not really. I've never seen fireworks. This, this side is not great. Right. Over the ocean. No chance. No more chance. Yeah, let's see. see. Let's see if they got it. dinner after the 80s party we got some buffalo chicken poppers Chicago style pizza and a grinder I think it's salami and tomato and cheese sandwich it's called a grinder I guess so this is a first for me 
there was no line for pizza. It's about midnight and no line. Looks like they're netting the pool. About time to go to bed. These hallways are the worst at night, especially when the ship's rocking. I feel like I can't walk a straight line. So I just got back to my room. Uh, I went to the 80s party and then afterwards I went and got something to eat at the late night buffet because I didn't eat dinner because, you know, everything kind of rolls into each other. Um, it was a good night. Did deal or no deal, $150, one to two people, so that was good. And then gambled a little bit, trying to earn those free cruises. I don't spend a whole lot, I just, you know, maybe 10 bucks a day, just trying to show consistency, so hopefully I'll get some offers. And then went up to the 80s uh, dance party, and then ate, and then now I'm back in my room. Um, if you made it this far, hey, I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for coming along on day three. Tomorrow is a sea day, so it will be really low key. There is a hurricane right now that's supposed to be hitting Florida, hitting the Gulf side, Tampa, on, I want to say, starting tomorrow. And so Port Canaveral actually closed. They put a, they post on social media that Port Canaveral's closed. Port Canaveral did. So um, maybe I'll get an extra day on this cruise. Who knows? But I doubt it because if, you know, obviously if we don't, go in then the next cruise gets pushed back and etc cetera, etc cetera. so i assume we are going to port on friday and the cruise will end on its typical normal day it might be a little bit later but i'm i'm just assuming the cruise will end on friday i will say right now like the sea is pretty rocky i tried showing it with the pool you can see the waves kind of going up and down as it's splashing um i can actually hear the waves hitting the bottom of the the ship it started last night, so I don't know if I'll ever get another ocean view, you know, this close to the ground or this close to the ocean. I'm on deck two, and it was loud. It's, like, really loud. Like, I imagine in my head I'm hitting or the boat's hitting icebergs or, you know, whales are ramming it because it's, it's so loud in my room right now. Um, but I guess that's to be expected with a hurricane coming. The ocean is a little bit choppy. What else? Oh, so not to jump around, but uh, talking to people, you know, when I'm on by myself, I talk to a lot more people. And so I was talking to one lady when she found out I did a, a cruise vlog. She gave me a cruise hack. And so what she does is she gets food from the buffet, the breakfast buffet, and she brings Ziploc bags. And so she'll put the food in the Ziploc bag. So when she's out on the beach, she has food and she doesn't have to pay for it. So... I thought that was a pretty interesting hack. I didn't really, I never would have thought about that. And she swore up and down, orange wrapped. What was it? Orange wrapped with bacon, was delicious. <laughs> the sweet and salty. So she was throwing up and down like that was her go-to. An orange wrapped with bacon. So I think I might do a, a video like all these little cruise hacks and try them out. But that's for. That's for future Mike. Right now, right now Mike wants to go to bed because it's midnight. So if you made it this far, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. And I uh, will talk to you guys tomorrow. So have a good night. Bye.